Capricorn. Welcome to my channel, Love It or More. Uh, to my subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And uh, to those new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I will be doing a monthly forecast for the beautiful sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising for November 2021. Please be mindful that energies are non-gender specific and uh, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. It is a general reading. Okay, I start off with uh, 20 seconds of the sound bowl just to tune in with the energy. And I've been guided uh, this month to basically just strip things down and keep things really simple. So I'm going to be changing it up and doing a Celtic Cross um, for the month of November. Um, all right, so let us begin cleansing the energy, just 20 seconds of the sound bowl. Okay, Capricorn, what does November have in store for you? Let's have a look. I'm going to start off with uh, Sacred Destiny <clears throat> to get an overall theme of the month for you, basically. Now, these will be the energies that are surrounding you or calling you to take action in this particular way. Uh, so we'll start with that and see what comes to light. Right, Capricorn. What does Capricorn need over November for you? It's for their highest good. Oh, gateway. This is like the portal. This is crossing the threshold. Ah, right. Let's see what else we have. So where magical things can happen because it's a unicorn. Um, so you're reaching the next step of something, which is amazing. You've opened up a gateway. And two more. Thank you. That's one first. Healing chaos. Okay. And... Security. Ooh, so there's a lot going on for you this month. Um, with the Healing Chaos card, it, we have this tornado surrounded by butterflies. And those butterflies represent transformation, deep transformation. So where things might be feeling all over the place, actually what's going on is a deeper, deeper healing. And perhaps that is the gateway that's opening up for you to really open up and get to the core of um, something that's been keeping you stuck or held back. Okay, and with it comes a sense of security. So I would say it feels very much, I, I've, this has never been said before by me. I feel very much like it's, um, like this is Spirit's way of telling you, we, we've got your back during this period. So for example, if you were to open up a portal, if you were to sort of, or as Abraham Hicks would say, sort of stand in, the, in your vortex. If you're coming to a point of a, you're coming to a threshold where you're about to sort of just reach the other side and it's always the darkest before dawn. So you've just got that last little stretch before that opens up to you. That last little stretch can be very difficult. It can be very painful. It's at last, the darkest before dawn means that everything feels very shadowy before you kind of get through to the other side. But the highlight, the light at the end of the tunnel is that healing aspect. So the chaos is causing healing to come through a deep transformation. It feels like with, for me, because this card would usually talk about kind of security and sense of your family, you've got your back, your um. You have the money um, that, that you need um, uh, because you've got the cave, you've got your your refuge, you've got your place of um, feeling safe. But really what I'm feeling with this is it's, it's almost like through this juncture, okay, I wouldn't normally use, use that word, but there we go. You, through this juncture, spirit have your back. So you are, I feel like you're kind of shielded, you're protected during this period. Because as you get through that dark energy, not dark energy, but let's just call it difficult space. Um, because it's a healing chaos and because you're reaching the portal, the gateway to the other side, um, you are housed by spirit. They're, they've got you. They've put you in a little protective cave. 
um and that's with the with the cave you've got the fire now fire represents spirit so it feels like they're guiding you through that okay now capricorn i don't know if you really generally like these sorts of talking in this way um because that was really kind of more of a spiritual take on things um but it's come through so there you go <laughs> right we're going to do a cultic cross for you for the month of november 2021 for your highest good what you need to know i'll be cutting the deck and i will clarify those that i feel drawn to clarify Your current energy at the moment is uh, working hard, Eight of Pentacles. What's crossing you, the obstacle that will be coming up, is slow and steady wins a race. So perhaps things are not happening fast enough for you. Uh, your influences at the moment is uh, the Five of Cups, regret from the past. Uh, what's hidden from you, your subconscious uh, mind, is this Ten of Cups, this like niggling energy of what you want. The past energy we have is a Seven of Pentacles. Um, Sagittarius also got this card in the exact same position. Seven of Pentacles, sowing seeds and waiting for the harvest to come in. The uh, future is justice, major arcana, so that's really nice, okay? Then your influences or your attitude at the moment is the Six of Swords, so which I think this is really positive because if your attitude is, I want to move away from this over-analytical um, thought processes and move into karma waters if that's your attitude I would say that's really positive action movement forward okay uh, your environmental factors we have the page of Pentacles okay so some good good news coming in that's going to be helpful for you in um, a sort of a monetary or resource value and um, we've got lots of Pentacles here so it's all about the money all about the material world um that's a lot of the focus and yet strangely enough deep down what it actually means for you is a ten of cups which is that ultimate fulfillment happy home um everything is as it should be contented uh, relaxed uh loving really nice um but it's coming through with this uh pentacle aspect yeah which is interesting hopes and fears we have a queen of swords okay standing in truth and the outcome is walking away eight of cups right so this is definitely crossing the threshold and i see two um departure cards let's put it that way we've got the this like a departure this it can be a travel card it can actually be a physical travel movement over water or whatever um but really what it is it's it's a moving beyond it's a it's it's going through the the get that gateway right to the other side and that's your attitude so that's the motivation behind you at the moment which is really good but it is a travel card it is a departure card right it's departing this because okay I've, I've moved on from that i've understood all the lessons i need to learn um I've, I've taken those lessons with me and i'm moving on to karma waters meaning that it has been pretty turbulent uh, you don't move on to karma waters unless you've been in turbulent waters right and then the outcome card with this uh, eight of cups is also a walking away now it could obviously be a physical walking away but um, generally speaking, this would be a metaphoric walking away from something that no longer serves you. Okay, he has invested a lot into these eight cups. He has uh, eight represent kind of like hard work, which is what you've got here, this eight of pentacles. But this talks about investing a lot of energy, a lot of emotion, a lot of love, a lot of everything, and 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 getting reaching that point of like, I understand it was good for me, and I understand that I've achieved quite a lot. But you know what? I'm all about expansion, I'm all about growth, and I'm ready to move forward because it just isn't quite doing it for me right now, okay? And it takes quite a lot of bravery to do that. I'll be interested if the strength card comes up in your clarifying. Okay, so you at the moment are working incredibly hard. I mean, you're Capricorn, of course you do. <laughs> uh, and both, of, of course, of these are Earth um, cards. Pentacles are Earth signs, you're an Earth sign. So um, this is kind of you and your power anyway, working very, very hard, diligently, perhaps into the night. Um, but you, you, you're trying to work on the things that are going to bring you, um, it does feel like, I mean, ultimately, this is what you're after. But it does feel like um, you're working on, on the resources now. You're working on the material world. You're working on 
uh, that sense of security because Capricorns you're all about long-term uh, logical approaches and knowing where things stand in terms of you know where your for your security is coming in through money for your property through um, your business through your family it's all about that kind of sense of feeling secure um, and I feel like you're working really really hard but it feels to me like it just it just feels like a little bit of a slog because this is what's crossing it so this is the obstacle you're quite prepared to put in the hard work but it feels at the moment as if everything is just taking a little bit too long like you want to get cracking but um you have to sort of uh, you keep having to go back and 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 be methodical and double check the things that you've done and make sure that you haven't left anything unturned so it's a real sort of preparation space like you're wanting to sort of be the full-on prepared but it's just taking a bit longer um so you are preparing for something coming up and perhaps it's in a in a deeper aspect it's this preparation for moving through that portal moving through that gate gateway just preparing you to sort of work through that healing chaos that's about to turn up but it just feels like it's taking its time you know <laughs> so in your influences um the things that are kind of in your conscious mind at the moment is this element of regret and um over past situation that didn't um go as you would like even though you put you invested quite a lot into it okay which is really interesting because if you've, you've gone from this energy to that energy this at the moment to that by the end of the month right so you're upset about the things that you've invested in emotionally uh, for a long time <clears throat> and you're caught up in that energy but come the end of the month you're going to be walking away from it you're going to be like you know what? it's okay I don't have to cry anymore I can see the future he's looking onto the horizon there there's a full moon so it marks a full completion of that cycle in the in respect to the situation here okay so um there's been something in the past, we're going to clarify that one, but there's something in the past that is still holding you back. You're still in that energy of um, regret and it's hurting you in the heart. Um, the, the trouble is that he, because he is still in that healing process, okay, he's not ready to look behind him. What's behind him is two cups that are full and upright. They haven't spilt over. That represents the future. So he's at this point not ready to look ahead just yet. He's just got his head head to the grindstone. Uh, I'm gonna try and get rid of that glare. Um, he's got his head to the grindstone there with working hard, and it's taking so damn long. <laughs> um, and he's trying to kind of. It feels to me like you're just trying to distract yourself using work as a distraction to try and get out of this energy or try and not feel this energy but this energy is very much in the forefront of your mind now ultimately what you really are yearning for is your home environment to be secure to be safe to be loving to be comfortable now, when I talk about your home space, I'm talking about your physical home. I'm talking about your family. I'm talking about where you feel that you can just relax. And it's your home is can be anything in the world. I mean, home is really where the heart is, right? So if your heart is upset, your home is going to be upset. Um, it's, it's, it's where everything is contented. And that's really what you're driving at. That's really what you're after. And which makes it this so difficult, this energy here so difficult, because that's where that's where the yearning is, but you're still feeling that. Now, in your past energy, we've got this uh, seven of pentacles. Now, the seven of pentacles talks about sowing seeds, waiting, reaping the harvest, and uh, making sure that you plant the seeds again to work with the next season. So again, this is hard work. You've been working hard. You've been slogging away. I mean, you go from the seven to the eight. I mean, that's just kind of sowing the seeds, diligently doing the work, and then keeping on at it, keeping on at it, keeping on at it. So you guys have been working really, really hard. The beauty of it is, is that the future will present a justice situation, a just uh, result. Meaning that justice will now um, karmically balance all the work that you've put in. You're going to be reaping the rewards. You're going to get um, a fair result. 
and a favorable result from all the things the things that you've been working on and the emotional turmoil that you've been in you know everything sort of um we always experience life like this you know very it's very rare for us to be in complete balance but what's happening here is you're getting the balance you've plowed into the work you've um spent yourself emotionally you're emotionally drained and now balance um justice comes in to sort the situation out and perhaps it's going to be that healing chaos perhaps it's going to be information that comes to light that um illuminates a situation and then you have a clearer standing and while it might be chaotic it um there is healing there now your attitude is the six of swords which is beautiful okay you are deliberately mastering your mental thought patterns which is amazing amazing because it's very difficult to do okay you are really being careful about where you place your thinking okay now of course the heart is still a little sore here okay there is still there is a rawness there but you're trying to the thing that you've also been working hard on is trying to shift the rawness of the emotion and implement and try and um, master the emotions through the mind okay and you're trying to intellectualize it in a good way now the positive thing about this is that whatever you're doing in this respect is serving you well it's allowing you to move through this gateway through this healing chaos environmental factors page of pentacles so whatever your situation you are going to be receiving a message that is um promising it is um kind of good news with regards to your pentacles you know you are earth you're all about the pentacles really and you're going to get some good news coming in uh, that's either to do with money property um anything resources something that's going to aid your next step moving forward so that's really really good i will clarify that though your hopes and fears is the queen of swords so i do feel as a hope you have an internal hope, particularly with this card here, the Six of Swords, of having to intellectualize and learn the lessons and move forward from it. There is a desire and a hope to stay true to your belief systems, to speak your truth, and to not get caught up in someone else's trying to appease somebody else. You know, um, because especially if we're going through a healing chaos and there is a lot of um, raw emotion around, we can tend to guard us, ourselves and say something to help nurture somebody else. Um, but what we've really done is we've covered our own thought. Uh, we, we haven't been honest. And I don't mean honest that you're being dishonest. I think you've just been very, very caring. But really this is, um, this is hoping that you can um, be... Be more honest with yourself and others, okay? Because I think there is a tendency to, especially with all of this going on here, there's definitely a tendency to um, not rock the boat, um, try and make sure like everyone else is cool because you're trying to, you, you actually want that happy home, right? Um, you want that happy, healthy environment. Um, and it hasn't been that happy recently. So, um, so there is a desire to stay to sort of stand up for what you believe in and speak your truth. There is also fear that there's someone else. Uh, so there's two things, other things that are going on here. It's a general reading, so you have to take what resonates. There's two other things going on here. This as a fear would be fearing that you're not going to stand your own truth, that you're not going to be able to have the courage to speak your truth, okay? On the flip side of the coin, if this is somebody else in your parameter, in your sphere, in your environment, um, there is a fear that this person isn't going to um, support you, um, isn't going to be on your side. So particularly if you are sort of trying to master your, um, your, your mental body and perhaps even thinking, okay, I need to sort of move away from this situation, um, you might, there's a fear that perhaps someone in particular, it feels like someone in particular who can be... Um, very clear cut maybe sometimes quite cutting quite blunt with what they say and also a kind of void of emotion and just boof, fact fact factual 
and it could be that you you're worried that this person is going to prevent you you have to answer it's almost like you feel like you have to answer to someone right um but um so there might be a fear of like am i able to stand up for myself when encountering this person okay so there's an element of that as well now the outcome is the eight of cups plain and simple you've decided enough's enough you're moving away from it okay now it is a cup so it's talking about emotions here so really you're striving for your ten of cups so in order to strive for the ten of cups you need to move through the eight get to the nine to reach the ten okay so this is you basically saying okay I understand how far I have come I understand that there have been heavy heavy times but I've been working really really hard on it and I've managed to implement some strategies, some tools for moving through that energy. I'm at a place now where I have discovered more of my self-respect and internal love and what I find, what I value for myself and my family. And I realize that this is now, there needs to be a shift. There needs to be a change. And so I'm going to walk away from this particular situation because although it was cool for a period of time and I know that I invested a lot into it, I want more. There's nothing wrong with wanting more. Okay, so let us clarify for you. Okay, can we clarify for Capricorn, please? Can we clarify this Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn, please? What have they been working hard on? Thank you. Oh, it's fallen on the Five of Cups. The sun, the sun. You've been working on your abundance. You've been working. So you're working physically on creating abundance and uh, stability and security in your, in your life. But you've also been working on illumination. So you've been working on illuminating where your heart is at, where your mind is at. That's what you've been working hard on. So both physically and internally. Five of Cups, please. Can we clarify Five of Cups? Thank you. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> we have the Chariot. Oh, Nine of Cups. King of Wands. Five of, Swords, uh, five of Wands, which is at conflict. And then Four of Wands. Okay, so the thing that you are regretful over or still saddened from the past is where you felt that you'd moved in a particular direction because we've got the cherry card with the nine of cups so and and with the um the king of wands is that like um it's almost like say for example you say i i am inspired with an idea to create a business and i'm going to charge ahead do it because it's what i wish for and then it doesn't go according to plan right because all of a sudden we've got conflict we've got more competition you didn't realize that the business had um many other uh competitors in the field who've been doing it a much longer time and uh and uh there's you know um you it isn't as stable as you thought it would be so that's an example of the energy. There is something that you are upset about over something that you put your heart and love into. Okay. You put in all your efforts, in all your good, your bad, your everything into it, and you took charge of a situation, but conflict arose. And this could also be a little bit of backstabbing. This could be like um petty office politics. It could be anything in that line of things where um you feel torn between different people okay so it didn't go as you you hoped you wanted that structure you wanted that security it didn't go as you hoped um so and you put your love into it and you put all your drive into it but it's 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 not working for you it's not working for you so it's a case of like you're grieving you're grieving that which you put your heart and soul into and you're grieving it because actually the way it played out and manifested, all I, all you saw was conflict and competition, which is not the kind of energy that you want to vibe with. Okay, so let's clarify the Six of Swords, please, for Capricorn. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Hierophant. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely. Right. Six of Swords. You're gaining wisdom. 
okay the hierophant talks about organizations um systems in place uh structures that sort of thing but it also talks about sort of spiritual ascension and i feel more the spiritual side for you because of this gateway card here which is so strong so as you move into that karma waters just purely by having the attitude and the intention to sharpen your mindset you have a spiritual ascension with that you move up the ladder so to speak you have a greater heightened awareness which is really really nice this is the healing chaos this thing that you put all your heart and soul into it you put all your drive you thought it was your wish come true you took lead you took the leader lead of it right and you put your spirit into it because it's a fire sign and then it didn't work out according to plan there was too much competition too much conflict too much backwards and forwards backwards and forwards backwards and forwards too toxic basically and that's the healing chaos right queen of swords please can we clarify the queen of swords oh yes i want to do justice as well queen of swords um oh eight, lots, lots of lots of cards ace of cups um two of wands um ace of pentacles good lord and knight of swords you okay well i do believe that if you stand in your truth and speak your truth and not be emotionally um influenced too much and just stick to the facts and the figures and be true to yourself you have a new beginning in love so this means um even if you're in a partnership or even if you have a, you have a you, it's a next step it's a new way of being right you've been working hard for it so you are able to now see from a vantage point because he holds a globe in his hand as he sees beyond into the horizon uh, because he's kind of like at a crossroads you got the ace of pentacles meaning that whatever this new beginning is um it's going to stand the test of time okay it's something that can also bring in money as well and the information is becoming through there's lots of information communications backwards and forwards okay about this so it could be to do with somebody else okay uh, making sure that you've got the all clear and the okay to do it and it's also about um, if you stand in your own power these are the things that are available to you amazing amazing it's very important you embrace that queen of swords energy this month okay and i think it will be quite easy because i mean you're a pentacle right but because you've taken the decision you've made the choice to stand in the six of swords here I think it will be easier for you to go there because you you sort of you're departing that one way of thinking or one way of even, even behaving to a certain degree and you've graduated to a level of it's you realize that it's pointless to not to not cover your your uh, to, to not hide right this is how you feel this is how it is and this is what it is justice please for capricorn why is justice here please for capricorn for their highest good, please. <coughs> Why is justice here for Capricorn? Oh. <laughs> balance again, okay. So the justice is a balancing act, yes, but it's we it's confirming the justice, so that's balance. Um going with the flow. Um not being able to take on much more right now and then ah yes lovely okay oh bottom of the deck is three of swords so it has been quite painful for you um what's coming into balance for you is you're starting to understand with this um eight of swords here the way you felt that you were trapped in a situation uh you're starting to own own it you're starting to own up to the fact that anything that you feel trapped in can be manipulated, can be juggled, okay, you can come out of it. So what's coming into justice for you is understanding that this feeling trapped and constricted energy, particularly in the, in the mindset, has not been serving you and it's just tied you up. You feel like this is like tying knots, you know, the things that didn't work go according to plan over here being tied in knots and it's tied you up in knots and justice is coming in to balance that it loosens the ropes and you start to recognize that you can actually get out of the 
the tie yourself. The swords are kind of protecting her, but also can be used <clears throat> both as protection and as um, a weapon. Uh, right so you you double edged sword you can um you can allow yourself to be constricted by it or you can take um action on it and so i feel like there's that balance coming in with it and understanding that um there's also a situation where for others of you if you because it's a justice card if you have been awaiting some news of a legal matter of like the justice system um, or an, a, a sort of an answer to fairness where you have been where you have felt constricted there will be a fair um, a fair result okay there, it will be fair and I'm not saying more so favorably than fair I'm saying fair because of this two of pentacles here okay it will be absolutely fair the outcome will be fair uh, eight of cups can we clarify for Capricorn Six of, um, six of Swords again, remember, moving into Carnal Waters. <laughs> Queen of Swords again, standing in your power. Page of Swords, news coming in, good message. And Six of Pentacles, a gift from Spirit. So, you're absolutely walking away. And as you walk away, the attitude that you have, that you want to move into Carnal Waters and be clear-minded about something, you've manifested it. Okay, you've manifested it, you've actioned it, and you've actioned it because you stood in your truth with the Queen of Swords over there. Okay, you stood in your truth with the Queen of Swords and you did the communications that you needed to do. You also received the communications that encouraged you that you were on the right track to receive this Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. And as you do so, the gift that you receive from allowing yourself to, um, allow yourself to dream and to ask for more you receive it. You receive it from spirit giving you a physical thumbs up, support, helping hand by um, someone in your sphere I, or, or even some sort of payout legally. Um, there's there's a sort of a money coming in or um, a resource coming in, a helping, let's just call it a helping hand that's going to help you with the day-to-day -day stuff, right? That is a gift that you get that acknowledges that walking away and allowing yourself to want more is the right thing to do in this particular situation. So Capricorn, it's um, it's an interesting month for you because um, you you having to go through some dark and like dark spaces here, and have a real grasp handle on your uh, intellectual mental body over here. Uh, which has the power to shift the emotions, okay? So it's, it's going like you're distracting yourself from the emotions and doing things like the day-to-day -day stuff, everything that actually needs to be physically done, right? To distract yourself from the emotions. And you kind of don't want to go into the emotions because it's too heavy. So instead, you kind of go, okay, well, I'll distract myself with those sorts of things. And instead of going to the rawness of those emotions, I am going to have a look at where my mind is at. I'm going to be aware of where my thought pattern is going. And I'm going to trust that um, I need to move beyond this and I'll take the lessons with me. As you clear up the intellectual side of things and the mental body, that's the thing that helps shift you out of that heavy emotion and into a more releasing emotion. And that's the healing chaos. Okay, you are protected by spirit. You do have the security. Security also in the aspect of money coming in. Um, and when I say money, I'm not talking a lottery ticket. Um, I'm talking just having 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 that which you need to make you feel secure and safe and looked after. Can we get an oracle card, please, for Capricorn for their highest good for November 2021? Thank you. Align your life. Yes. What is you see, it's just perfect. This bird is perfect. What is not aligned and needs to change? That's the question for you this month. You really are getting down to the nitty gritty. Now, you may be in a place where you're not quite sure where that is. You feel like it could be something like, well, I know things aren't right, but I can't quite put my finger on it. 
I feel that by going into shifting yourself out of the emotional body, moving into the intellectual body is the thing that's going to aid you to figure that out. Okay, because we can't always know it for sure. But I do feel like some of the some of the alignment, um, some of the misalignment is going to come now into balance. Um, and it's happening for you in a in in a mental way. So um, that's the calling for this month for you, November, uh, for you, Capricorn. And um, I do see that you're coming out of it really strong and stronger than ever. And coming through that gateway, that portal, that vortex, moving into the threshold, the next. And darkest before dawn, the dawn will arise and it's going to be better than before. Okay, so that's all I have for you, Capricorn. I hope that it resonated. If it did, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Now, I am offering, um, I will be doing a competition free to enter. I'll be offering a free personal reading to one subscriber who, um, or, or one person who puts a comment in the comment box. You don't have to be a subscriber. Um, it's a free personal one-to-one face-to-face -one -face reading online. Um, to enter, simply put the words, I am love in the comment um, box below. And I'll be selecting one winner across the zodiac signs uh, for over November. And at the end of November, I'll announce a winner. And December, you'll get your reading. More information on the dates closer to the time. So uh, if you'd like a free reading, try that. Alternatively, I also offer personal readings. Uh, you can have a look at my website for more information. Um, websites in the description box below. Uh, find me on loveitallmore.com. And uh, have a wonderful November. Um, you, the light will be shining brightly for you as long as you can just shift your energy in, in the mental body. And you will. It's going to be amazing. Uh, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.